right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the hype, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like folding a slice of pizza in <laughs> half, you know? They got nothing on you. Let's go. The Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you gotta stand out and take note. When you fight someone like that, so close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino, Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right. We haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. Sean O'Malley steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. All right, now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Good. Well, right, early round action here, and I think a lot of us remember when Song Yadong made his UFC debut and how much pressure there was on him even then, back in 2017. And you look at the UFC body of work right now, he's been largely untouched tonight. The focus is his boxing. He believes that the knockouts, which have started to pile up, are going to continue, and this matchup certainly dovetails with some of his recent results. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. All right, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Great punch, that is useful. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. He's going to stand right in front of each other, 
just kind of going at it. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Well, no denying that he brought that. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, punches and punches. Big right hand. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Oh, hook to the head by Sean O'Malley. Heavy kick downstairs. Uh, what a nasty flying knee to the head. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. It's your perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Oh, another one. Oh, Mally's now switching his stance. Oh, nice straight left there. Big shot lands for both guys. He's in a lot of trouble. One minute. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. Throw those punches. Just missed with that right hand. Let's keep it up. He gets to the single column. Look at him. Keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. O'Malley's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Just misses with that one. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feed, and there is that inside. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. Now, listen, guys. As long as it ain't like Jarzinho rolled the strike and Alistair old oh. him, you're fine. Cuts on the lip are okay, unless your lip is hanging right. off, like we have right. seen sometimes. That right. is not that, but he's got to protect it. I got Robbie Lawler. Yeah. 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 Robbie. Lip cuts. Oh, my God. I was thinking about that. I couldn't remember who it was. Yet. All right, next round is upon us. Let's see how it plays out. Hook to the head there by your dog. Oh, the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley, is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw it. You gotta move those feet for me, bro. You gotta move those feet. Yudong gets hit with a kick. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Oh, 
his work done. Right, nice jab by Yudong. O'Malley's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Oh, left hook. Lands a solid kick right there. Well, he's got the long... Oh, huge shot lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Ali's eye now closing up. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just missing on the high kick there. Nicely done to the body. Barely missed that upper cut right here on the inside. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. Oh, me right to the melon. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Sean O'Malley. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Let's go. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Yadong gets back up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Let's get that takedown. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Take shot. There it is. Different round in the street. Oh, he's wobbled now. Oh, now he's going for a choke. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Working hard to finish this rear naked choke. He's doing a really good job of trying to get that choke arm under the neck. Then he'll lock his hands to get that finish. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Excellent ground and pound there by O'Malley. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third round on the road. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. Let's go. Get on your bicycle. I need you moving. Move, move. Oh, the dog gets hit with a kick. 
kick. That one through the land flush. start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of... Oh! Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 41 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Shalomba! So Sugar Sean O'Malley gets it done yet again tonight as we congratulate the fighter and his MMA lab teammates. He had some doubters coming in here tonight, Joe, but once again, Sean O'Malley is able to silence all his naysayers and produce on the biggest of stages. Congratulations to the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley.